Hi everyone, it's Steelbook Steve. We're going to do a Steelbook review on Fast and Furious 7. Uh, this uh, coming to us right before, or during, or right after, the new Fast and Furious 8 film comes out. So this is FF7. This comes to us from, you guessed it, one of my favorite Steelbook manufacturers, Film Arena. So this is 947 out of, out of 1000. So it's a limited edition. I squeaked by and got this one here, luckily. Uh, there's the front here. You see FF7. Uh, it's a cardboard slipcase with some slight embossing uh, on the front. Here's the spine, Fast and Furious 7. And here's the back. There's the card, 947 out of 1000. All right, the Dodge edition of this film. Okay, or the Steelbook. As always, when we open up our Steelbooks, I tried doing the uh, reverse and trying to open up on the Steelbook side of things last time. So we'll try to open up on the book side of things this time. The reason for this is just not to damage the outer case. There's one. Then we just do some, so that was the horizontal, then we do some vertical cuts on either side. And this, what this does is preserve the outer cover. Little flap, give it a nice little shake out. And we can actually remove the steel book itself without damaging or um, messing up the card. Right, if you're a collector, like I said before, it's kind of a cool thing to have everything intact. And there's some more goodies inside. Okay, so let's see what we got. There's our cover. Here's our film. And of all the Fast and Furious films, I think this is the this is my favorite. So here we have a lenticular cover, right? So that's kind of cool. Jumping off the back of an airplane, they become more and more adventurous. If you if you think about what happened to part in part one versus you know part seven and now part eight, very different, I think. So we'll open this up real quick. Let's open this up and check out the goodies here. So there's the lenticular, like we said, very cool. Uh, the car's jumping off that airplane in that one scene. And then here's the steelbook itself. It's uh, This has been uh, released in various countries, and this is the uh, cover to many of them. I like this one here, very cool close-up of the car in the foreground, all the characters in the back. This is a flat steelbook here. There's no embossing, there's no debossing. Um, it uh, looks classic, basically, you could say almost, with the black, with the white. Um, although I do wish there was a little bit more more to it. I understand why they probably went a little bit more clean this way due to the, the uh, death of uh, one of the actors uh, maybe going a little bit more subdued in its color palette or color tone. So here you go, the back. Beautiful shot of that car right there. Interior, like I said, there you go. Again, muted colors. Uh, same artwork that we're seeing on the disc that is on the interior of the steelbook, all the cast. I, I like that it's appropriate for all, all together for what is the last time. So very nice, very cool steelbook there. Booklet, Fast and Furious 7. As always, paper stock is thick, it's supple, colors are wonderfully saturated. Images are crisp, clear. I don't think you can ask for more. No text. Again, cinema is a visual media, so sometimes it's just cool to get the uh, pictures and no text to obscure these wonderful images, these high quality uh, stills. So that's what we're seeing here. Very cool. All the characters get a little spotlight. If you look through them, thumb through the pictures, everyone gets a little, little love. Russell Crowe, I forgot he was in this film. I haven't watched it in a while. I haven't watched it tonight, I think. Very cool. And there's Vin Diesel's uh, handprints at the uh, Man's Chinese Theater. Very cool. Very nice. And then we've got some uh, little mini art cards here. Let's open them up and check out what we got. So Fast and Furious 7 printed on all of them. And let's see what we have here. So everybody gets a, a, a bit of a, a shot here. Jason Statham as the main villain here. We'll just go through them right now. As I said before, the, this was in the same the same book there, so we get some repeat images there. This is kind of cool. There's the uh, cards, and then we got this one as well that came with it. Let's see what's in here. So uh, again, of all the films, I haven't seen Part 8 yet. I'm planning to do so, uh, but of all the ones that have come out, I think 7 is my favorite. I like Jason Statham as a villain. I think that's pretty cool. Russell Crowe, kind of, not Russell Crowe, sorry, uh, Kurt Russell, <laughs> playing off there. And here's a poster, I think, of something. Oh, look at that right there. Very nice. 
the uh, I think it's a Lycan Hypersport that's that we have here. So that's kind of a cool little mini poster that we get there. And then the last thing that we're seeing here, I think this is what is this? Some of these things are a little hard to open here. This one here is really stubborn. All right, opened up. Take it out. I haven't seen something like this before. So the poster's new. I haven't seen any of the film arenas release that. Oh, and then I think we got pictures of the cars. So wow, look at these beautiful images of each car here. Wow, very nice. Very cool. So there, there are the cars. Oh, there's this one again. Very nice. So overall, Fast and Furious 7 for its release. There are multiple steelbooks available, but for my money in terms of collectability, I'm going to go with Film Arena. That's it for Steelbook Steve. Thank you so much.